what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Tanel, and um, yeah today i am reviewing this panel uh, which is the 43 inch philips monitor the bdm 4350uc uh, which um, costs at about uh, 500 to 600 euros uh, here in eu so today I'm gonna look at this miter here, gonna give my final verdict for this miter and um, yeah, it's gonna be a quick little review for this thing. So should you buy it or not, that's what I'm gonna try and find out. So as you can see behind it, there's a bigger screen. That there is a 75 inch screen. So I'm a guy who likes uh, big ass TVs, big ass screens, I mean. Yeah, that's, that's what I am. So today, Let's check out this monitor without the response time lag delay shenanigans that the DVs have. So yeah, let's take a quick little peek and uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about it. So now that we've uh, taken a closer peek at the monitor, I mean, it does look stunning and uh, at 43 inches, um, small or big, uh, depending on the person, it does uh, an incredible job, uh, especially when you take into uh, consideration uh, how much this thing really costs. Uh, I bought a TV for my mom uh, like um, a few weeks ago and it was a 40 inch um, uh, TV, a 2017 model and it was about a hundred euros only less than this 43 inch monitor and I bought her at a 40 inch uh, 4K screen which is amazing. The only thing that I want to see is like 75 inch uh, monitors hopefully soon in my lifetime. Uh, that's that's one thing that I uh, really want to see. But yeah, I mean, coming to this uh, exact monitor here, I mean, where do you begin with this uh, monster of a screen? Well, firstly, Philips, uh, for some reason, still doesn't want to push onto the gaming market that much. But I must say for a person who likes big screens, uh, this is one hell of a good monitor um, considering that the size is getting up there with the TVs, but without the hideous response time lag uh, that big TVs come with. Philips's main point is to sell their monitors to pro consumers, meaning like video or photo editors and uh, for office use. So how good is this uh, miter here for um, those things and for gaming? Well, first of all, let's come to the price. It goes at about uh, 540 euros here in East Europe, Estonia, and it's about the same all across Europe with a $700 uh, price tag uh, in the US. Now, for that money, I really think this is one of the best large screen monitors out there with a whopping 43 inches um, gunning for it. It really is a great bang for your buck considering this is a monitor without the hideous input lag that TVs offer. It is, of course, a 4K screen. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, it is only at about 100 euros more than the same size TV, and that's pretty awesome. The only thing that nags me to this day is, where are the 75 inch monitors? Uh, I guess the mo uh, market is too small for now. But anyway, on, on top of all that, this here is an IPS panel display, meaning great colors at just 5 milliseconds. So not only is this monitor great for editing colors, but it does really well in gaming. For myself who makes YouTube videos and needs to edit colors, uh, but at the same time I want a game and I want that cinematic immersion. Size, resolution and colors is a must. And boy oh boy how this monitor really delivers it all to me. 
Now coming quickly to the board game, well it has surprisingly a ton of them, two display boards, two HDMIs and even a prehistoric VGA, uh, with four USB boards and a headphone jack. The power supply unit is built inside and the monitor has an on off switch next to the power plug. The monitor's menu is controlled with a joystick style button behind the monitor which works great. And Philips has also implemented a picture in picture to it so you can actually separate the screen into four displays. At 43 inches um, that is a great thing to have if you're into that stuff. The only downside to this monitor is the stand, which is just two legs underneath both edges. They do the job, but maybe there would have been a way to implement a more proper stand that you could adjust at least from side to side. Then again, when buying such a large screen, the best way is to attach it to your wall. And um, yeah, the end thought here, maybe it was cheaper uh, to build it uh, like this. So for 540 euros something, I can't complain. <laughs> now you might have noticed my huge 75 inch TV behind the monitor by now. And um, yeah, I personally have lived with a TV for my PC screen 24 seven for the past decade because of the cheap price when coming to size with the downside of 30 ms response time. Philips here is really getting to my heart with this monitor here. I just wish that some company would really push things up to those 75 inch ranges but 43 inches is a stellar job from Philips and I love them for it as they also implemented a great price range for it with an IPS panel. I mean it doesn't get any better than this does it? So conclusion time, what is my final verdict for this monitor gonna be? Well I'm gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10. If you're asking right now should you buy this or not, well the answer is yes if you like huge monitors. There really is no huge downside to it, except maybe for the stand, but other than that it's a great buy. And um, yeah, I mean, that is gonna conclude my quick little or a video review uh, from this monitor here. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this and you have a, a little bit better understanding should you get this monitor or not. I mean, it's it's hard to say monitor for this huge screen here. It, it, it is really hard. It definitely reminds me of TVs. Uh, but I mean, great job from Philips and uh, yeah, hey. Wanna make that 75 inches happen and put it on my wall over there? That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I, there's really nothing bad to say about the panel and um, the complete package. It, it's just a perfect package if you if you are into huge TVs, uh, huge, huge screens. Uh, the only thing maybe um, for future stuff I think uh, yeah, I think after seeing OLED in action, how how black are the blacks uh, in OLED displays is just absolutely out of this world. If you haven't seen it, go in the go in a shop where uh, there's an OLED display out there and just just look at it. I mean, if this could have like OLED display and still be at this price, I, <laughs> who am I kidding? But one day, one day. So I mean. It's a great purchase, it's a great buy uh, if you want to get a huge screen right now. And uh, for me at the moment, gonna hunker down and wait a little bit longer when, you know, a little bit bigger <laughs> screens come out. And uh, yeah, OLED is something that I've uh, completely fallen in love with. Now, yeah, on only uh, other minor thing, it doesn't have HDR, uh, but how much do you really miss it? I mean, it's it's nothing. It's not like uh, you know ultra or low details in games. It's just like um, it's a visual thing, hard to explain. Uh, if you see it in action, if you compare those screens, you know uh, side by side, yeah, you can make out the difference. But you know, if you're playing like this and then switch to HDR, you you won't even notice there's any difference. Uh, so I don't really think H. Uh, not having HDR is gonna affect it uh, in any way or you. But anyway, that's gonna be it uh, for my video here. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, stick around on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't and um, yeah, be a lookout uh, on my 
PC reveal which is coming in October somewhere. Uh, I'm building my own wall mounted chassis that I designed myself from aluminium. Uh, so pretty awesome stuff. It's gonna have some pretty nice uh, hardware on it also. So yeah, definitely stay tuned on my channel and uh, keep a uh, lookout on that video. And I'm gonna definitely bring out some more hardware videos and maybe some gameplay videos when I have my PC up and running on the wall. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tunnel out. See you soon.